Hey guys, welcome back to another guitar lesson from GuitarMadeEasy.com. Today's lesson is on Blues Traveler's Hook. Uh, this is a great song. I've liked this song for a really long time. Came out in the 90s, I think early 90s. Anyways, it's a little bit more complex than Blues Traveler's Runaround. Uh, it involves a couple more complex chord shapes, um, a couple little uh, riffs or fills. Uh, but if you have those down, if you have your basic chords down and maybe your, your bar chords down, I, I don't think this will be too much trouble for you. So let's start off. The, the song starts off and basically there's two parts to the song. There's the uh, intro and verse. It's kind of the same thing. And then there's the chorus of the song, okay? So uh, the intro and verse, we'll call that part one. The chorus will be part two, okay? The chorus is a little bit easier than the intro and the verse. How the song starts off is like this. Okay, that's the intro and the verse. Goes over and over and over again throughout the song, okay? So basically what I'm doing is I'm making an A chord right here, and I'm using, an, it's an A bar chord, A major bar. Okay, so I'm barring my finger over the fifth fret, I'm putting my middle finger on the G string, sixth fret, and then these two guys, my ring fingers on the A string, and my pinkies on the D string, seventh fret, okay? So you start off there, you strum it down once, and then you upstroke it. You gotta hear the song, play this along with the song to get the timing down. Um, it'll take you a second, but... And then you do the same thing, you move this chord up to an E bar chord, which is going to be on the 7th fret, uh, what is that, the 7th fret A string, and then you're barring these three strings with your ring finger, that's the, uh, and this is gonna be on the ninth fret. This is the uh, D string, the G string, and the B string, okay? You kind of leave this, the top E muted, okay? So. So from A to E. Now this little part's a little bit more complicated, but it's not too bad. What it is, is you're barring on the ninth fret, okay? Still the, uh, the D, the G, and the B. And you're hammering on your ring finger on the 11th fret D string and your middle finger on the B string 10th fret, okay? So you're going and then you put your pinky on the 12th fret E string and then you take it off. So you're going so I'm hammering on and strumming again then I'm upstroking as I'm putting that pinky on the 12th fret E string, okay? So, then I take it off, down strum, and then strum up again so I get that uh, 9th fret E string with my pointer finger, okay? So listen, listen really closely. Hear that? You might have to play around with it a little bit, but you'll get it, okay? Just, just do take it really slow and keep on practicing. After that part, you want to go down to this bar chord right here. My pointer finger is going to be on the ninth fret. And then uh, it's the same shape that I showed you in the first part, but you're going to move that up to the ninth fret. So it's ninth, tenth, and eleventh. Okay? And what you're doing is you're hammering on the same way you did with this chord up here. You're going. So you're barring the ninth fret, hammering on. Your ring finger is going to be in the A string, eleventh fret. Your middle finger is going to be on the G string, 10th fret, so hammer those on. And you're putting your pinky, your pinky is kind of doing the same thing it did up here, but it's actually going to go on the 11th fret D string, okay? So, hear that? So I'm going... Then you go back to D, two down strokes, you wait a second, now you're doing an upstroke back to the A. And then you go back to D, then E. 
and that's upstrokes actually. Okay, so I'll play it through once you can kind of see, and I'll play it a little bit slower, okay? So. Okay, over and over and over again. That's the intro and the verse of the song, okay? Then the chorus of the song is this. Okay? And that's when uh, he's singing the part, the hook, okay? So uh, you want to start off on the A major, just regular chord, okay? And this is down here on the second fret. So I'm going, I'm basically plucking that open A string. And I play this part a little bit sloppy because in the, on the recording they actually play a little bit sloppy too. It doesn't really matter what notes you're hitting, okay? As long as you're just kind of arpeggiating. What I do is I, I hit this uh, A string twice and then I go up to, let's see here. So I'm going, stays the same, I'm just plucking individual strings within this chord, okay? And I do that same thing when I go to the E, the next chord. Now I'm going to, uh, what is this, it's an F sharp minor. Okay. Hear that? And now, when I go to this, I think it's a C sharp minor, yeah. When I go to this C sharp minor right here, and remember, this is a bar chord, so I'm barring my pointer finger over the second fret, and then my ring finger's on the A string, uh, fourth fret, and my pinky's on the D string, fourth fret. But when I go up here, okay, to the C, uh, C sharp minor uh, bar chord, uh, that same formation right here, but I'm just moving it right here to the fourth and sixth fret, starting in the A string. Remember down here it was on the uh, E string on the fifth fret, and then I was on the seventh fret right here. Well, now I'm moving that same formation, that same shape that my fingers are in, right up here, okay, so I'm on the 4th and 6th fret, and uh, the first note I want to touch is on that H A string, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm going... So I'm plucking that bass note twice, and then doing two upstrokes. And you can actually hear that in the song, okay? The rest of it's a little bit messy, and they don't play the whole thing. Uh, I've seen them do this live, and they actually do it different every time. So, they're usually, they do it different. But they're just kind of basically messing around and arpeggiating those chords, and then this is the, this is the part that always seems, seems to stay the, stay, the, stay the same. They pluck that bass note, and then two, two upstrokes on that C sharp major, C sharp minor, I'm sorry, confusing myself. And then you go to the D chord. Or... So it's the same, that second half of the intro of the verse is the same part for the second half of the chorus, okay? So it was D, and then to A, and then a D, then to E, just like in the, uh, the intro of the verse of the song. But all I'm doing is I'm doing that same arpeggiation thing where I'm plucking the bass note, which would be the, uh, my pointer fingers on the fifth fret A string for that D. Now A. Okay, and that's, that's the chorus. I'll play it slow so you can kind of hear how I play it. Okay, so that's basically the whole song right there. The middle part when, uh, 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 John Popper does the little uh, vocal solo. What happens is all you're doing is the same chord progression over and over. However, they're playing fragments of that chord progression. So what they're doing is they're doing like this. They're going, or they're going. So you kind of get the idea. And this song, it's a great song because you can't really hear exactly what they're doing, and it's a little bit messy. 
So if you make mistakes, it's really no big deal. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Email me, webmaster at guitarmadeeasy.com. Leave comments on this video and like this video. I hope you like it, and I have tons, of, tons more lessons to come. So I will see you guys on the next guitar lesson. Thanks.